You might remember a few weeks ago, I published a video about five digital products that make $100 a day on Etsy. One of them really piques your interest, it's the printable wall art. We saw together how one specific Etsy shop was making $300 a day with one listing alone. But none of this art was created by the Etsy seller. Mind blowing, right? In this video, I'm going to share with you the step-by-step -step process to find use and sell public domain art in your Etsy shop. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angie and I help ambitious Etsy sellers just like you to get their shop to the next level and finally live off their passion. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a new video about Etsy selling tips and advice. All right, let's start this video with a bit of context first because a lot of you might be concerned about using sometimes well-known art in your Etsy shop. You might have heard of trademark and copyright infringement on Etsy and Rightfully so, you might wonder if all of this is really legal. Well, the reality is yes. Everything I'm going to show you in this video is 100% legal and you won't get into any issue selling these in your Etsy shop. The key word that is important to remember is public domain. Public domain is a term given to content that is not protected by any copyright law or other restriction and it may be freely copied, shared, altered and republished by anyone for any purpose. This designation means that essentially the content belongs to the community at large. So if you were to search online you might find different time period after which art becomes public domain. Sometimes you will see 70 years, sometimes 95 years or even 120 years. Let me make this simple for you. Art created before 1923 is in the public domain automatically due to their copyright being expired. All the art published from 1923 becomes public domain 95 years after the publication. In this video, I'm going to focus on art published well before 1923, so I'm not going to go into too much details about copyright law and ways you can use public domain art from after 1923. All right, so now that we're clear on what exactly is public domain art, let me show you how you can easily find painting and illustrations to use for your printable wall art. The first few websites you can use are museum gallery websites. A lot of very famous museums will offer high quality photos of their art for free. For example, you can see here the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Met Collection, where you can find hundreds of beautiful paintings to use in your printable wall art. I recommend you use the advanced collection search so you can look for specific art in that collection. Here, for example, I'm looking for a landscape painting from France between 1800 and 1900. When you find a painting you like, click on it and make sure that it mentions public domain right under the photo. So you're sure that you can use it without any problems. Another website I recommend, and it is my personal favorite simply because it gathers art from hundreds of gallery websites is Wikimedia Commons. You can either go through the filters they offer in their image search by searching for images by medium, paintings for example, paintings by date, and then selecting the 19th century. All of the paintings that you can see here can be used freely for your printable wall art without any copyright issues. However, something that you want to be careful of is the size of the artwork as you might want to offer large formats for your prints. For example, if you want to offer 24 by 36 inches as a format option for your prints, you will want to make sure that the biggest size of the artwork is around 2600 by 1800 pixels minimum so you get the best quality possible. Anything below that and the quality would not be high enough for you to sell them on Etsy. Finally, if you struggle to find paintings and illustrations you can sell, you can easily find best-selling products by searching what your competitors are selling already on the platform. If you're looking for a specific artwork, you can easily screenshot the listing image and make a reverse image search to find the name of the art as well as the name of the artist. Once you have this information, you can usually find it on Wikimedia Commons by searching for the artwork name or the artist name in the search bar. And here you go, this is the exact same artwork as we found on Etsy and you can simply download the file and offer it in your printable wall art. Now, something I wanted to touch on was that when you sell artwork like this, you will find that you might not be the only one selling the exact same painting or illustration. So you might want to make some modification to make it a bit more unique, a bit more different. You can easily do that in Canva by simply clicking on your image, 
clicking on edit image and choosing a different photogenic filter. That will allow you to add a nice tint to your artwork so you can appeal to different audiences on Etsy. You could also choose to add text or graphics to the artwork if you want to make it fully your own. Final part of this video is going to be about finding keywords that are relevant to your chosen artwork. Something to bear in mind and that is important is that public domain refers to a piece of art specifically and not the artist or other art created based on the original one. For example, if you were to use a Van Gogh painting for your printable wall art, I would recommend you avoid using any specific term linking your listing to Van Gogh or the name of the painting as both of these could potentially be trademarked brands. Instead, I'm going to show you how you can find relevant and specific keywords to describe your listing and help you sell it on Etsy. For this example, I'm going to keep my tree sketch for my printable wall art. I'm searching on Etsy for printable tree sketch and by using the Allura Chrome extension, I can find the best selling designs for this specific search. This one, for example, is quite similar to the type of artwork I'm selling. So what I can do is just click on it and look at the keywords they're using in their tags and in the title. As you can see, nowhere in these listings can you see the name of the artwork or the name of the artist just in case there is any trademark on any of these. And for like to sell us, you are now done. You know everything there is to know about public domain. You now also know how you can easily find art to use in a printable wall art and how you can find relevant keywords to use in your listings. If you found this video useful and you're looking for even more tips and advice to take your Etsy shop to the next level, download your free Etsy guide to help you set up your Etsy shop for success by clicking on the link in the description below. It's 10 pages full of information that you need to know if you're trying to have a success for Etsy shop. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video and don't forget dreams don't work until you do. I'll see you next time.